okay so welcome back to this course so in my previous video i have uh set up these two routes and on this video i want to get all the products um basically in the database okay so for that first of all let's copy this one so copy and simply paste it here and that is get all orders and this will be slash api slash v1 slash admin slash orders so this is the admin now only admin can see all the orders so let's change here all orders okay so orders dot find we have to pass nothing in there we have to find all the orders and we also have to calculate the total amount of the orders we have so let's type here let total amount equals to zero so i simply have to type here orders dot for each order i want to type in here total amount plus equals to order dot total total price okay because i want to display all the amount of all the products or orders on the dashboard on the front end so that's why you also have to uh, calculate the total amount and after that i simply have to pass in here the total amount also so total amount save it and go to the order and that's slash orders and that is admin slash orders and you must be authenticated and the function is all orders so copy it paste in here and also we have to authorize the roles for the start because we have typed in here the admin so that is admin simply save it and now if we go back to my postman new tab get domain slash api slash v1 slash admin slash orders okay so if i go from send from here uh, you will see here 83.6 sam is the total amount and these are the orders so the first order price is 20 uh 27.89 dollars and then we again have 27.89 dollars okay i think so we have three orders yeah we have three orders okay good so now we simply have we are done with our get all order routes that is for admin only so get all orders that is only for admin okay get all orders only for admins good save to order and that's it okay so we are done with this video so in my next video i want to basically update the order or i want to process the order for example if i want to change the status to delivered then also i have to update the stock of that product okay so for example we have 50 apples and user is purchasing one apple and we have to remove one apple from the total stock of the product okay so we will update our order and the product stock in our next video.